On the day of Mandela's release, thousands gathered to see him. He placed the remaining years of his life in the hands of the people. He promised reconciliation by saying that any man or woman who abandons apartheid will be embraced. But there were problems. Violence continued between Inkata and the ANC. Mandela was convinced the government was involved and called off talks. At last, in December 1991, the Convention for Democratic Change in South Africa started. In June 1993, right-wing thugs broke into the building and disrupted the talks. Anger and fear stalked the country. Violence kept breaking out and the talks were suspended again and again. Mandela called on the United Nations for support. Eventually, the talks were back on track. But the historic talks remained on a knife edge. Right-wing fanatics killed Chris Honey, an act which almost tipped the country into chaos. The ANCs and government negotiating teams did not give up until they had agreed on an interim constitution and a date for democratic elections was set. Just under 20 million people voted and the ANC won 62.6% of the votes. The people of South Africa were free at last. On the 10th of May, 1994, Mandela was inaugurated as president and he promised to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa.